we are given that fx is equal to sin x and gx is equal to ln of mod x. Therefore, f of g of x is equal to f of ln of modulus of x, which is equal to sin of ln of modulus of x. Now, ln of modulus of x can take any value between minus infinity to plus infinity, but sign of a number will always lie between minus 1 and 1. It therefore follows that the range R1 of the composition function f of g of x is the closed interval minus 1 to 1. And this is the answer to the first part of the problem. Now g of f of x is equal to g of sin x and this is equal to ln of modulus of sin x. Now sin x lies between minus 1 and 1. Therefore modulus of sin x is always less than equal to 1. Now let's evaluate the function ln t. The function is defined only for t greater than or equal to 0. At t is equal to 1, the value of the function is equal to 0. As t tends to 0, the value of the function tends to minus infinity. And as t tends to infinity, the value of the function tends to infinity. Therefore, ln t lies between minus infinity and 0 when t lies between 0 and 1. In this case, replace t with modulus of sin x, which also lies between 0 and 1. And therefore, the composition function g of f of x which is equal to ln of modulus of sin x lies in the interval minus infinity to 0. In other words, the range R2 of the composition g of f is the interval minus infinity to 0. And this is the required answer of the second part of the problem.